are back with another episode of El Siempre Pod. This is your boy JJ. We got Happy right over there. Hey, yo, what up? Yo. What up? What's up? Can I get a <laughs> yay? Yay. Yay. All right. So uh, we're going to be coming to you guys with the Crown Jewel reaction. We did not do a prediction show on this. Um. We're going to do another episode because uh, we got a comment saying that, they, that y'all missed us and all that stuff. Uh, but we're going to be doing another episode. Thank uh, you. Has nothing to do with wrestling. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, it has to do with a lot of the changes that have happened in our lives recently. And that's why we are. Yeah, most of it's good stuff. Most of it's good stuff. So don't yeah, be worried. Yeah. Don't be worried. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. good. So, uh, but anyways, man, we're going to be opening with. Wait, hold up. Let me get the match card. Hold up. So then now, we'll we're going to go ahead and start sharing it. Shout out to uh, Bleacher Report, even though they took our uh, AJ Styles video. <laughs> the most Everybody viewed AJ Styles injury video of all. Everybody shared Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, it was the most shared video that. ever. I've never seen a video shared that much in my life. Fox. Fox. <laughs> So anyways, to open up the show, technically the show. So right now, this is the lineup for the matches. However, the matches, this is not the order. Like the order was way different. But anyways, uh, the opening or oh, the opening match was Roman Reigns and the Usos versus the Timu bloodline of Solo Sokoa, Tama Tonga and Jacob Fatu with uh, Tonga Loa at ringside. Just um, there, no Makota. Yes. So the match, it was uh, the match wasn't bad. Wait, but let's start with let's start with the with the opening. Because honestly, uh, with the well, team of bloodline uh, opening. Or? Yeah. No. 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 Forget about the team of bloodline. I don't care. The oh. part where you had Roman come out with Jimmy, but then you had Jay come Jay, out doing oh, his whole so. his whole stick, like his whole yeet thing. Bro, he's super over. He's ridiculously over. <laughs> I mean, he I mean is, this, he is. this guy, uh, obviously, he does owe a lot to Roman Reigns, but he's also done a pretty damn good job, at least with at least character wise. Everybody loves the guy. Honestly, he hasn't done anything too crazy that you're like, oh, my God, the story's amazing. The story's great because his best story was when he was feuding with directly with Roman Reigns. But people love the guy. Like, he's very likable. He's fun. And I think kids like him. Like, he's doing exactly what they wanted Cody Rhodes to do. Right, because John Cena was that guy, right? The kids loved. They bought his merch. Cody Rhodes is not that guy, so it ended up being Jay. Who thought? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> you should. You should have seen. I mean, I sent you the video of my, of my two-year-old. Whenever. Oh yeah. She, whenever Jay Uso's music came out, oh, she's, she's so big. Just... She's so big. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> she's grown. She's Beautiful grown. baby. Yeah. She woke up today saying no to everything. I'm like, bro. No yeet. She, no. She went to bed as, as Jay woke up as Roman or what? Fox, bro. I was <laughs> like, no. No, you're about to cash these hands. What you mean, no? Suck. I need to. Yeah. So, yeet. Uh, man, well, I see anyways, yeet. Anyways, <laughs> yeet. Oh, my God. Uh, what was that? But, uh, yeah. anyways. Um, so, yeah, man. Um, it was great. Uh, I mean, like, I feel like uh, Michael Cole was trying to make a story out of nothing whenever he was saying, like, oh, you see Roman Reigns' face? We don't know if that's a face of despise because of how the crowd is reacting to Jey Uso or a face of being shocked or something like that. And it's like, um, I think it's more of a face like like he's proud, but he doesn't want to admit He can't, you know, admit it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's there to, like. Well, he's no-selling on purpose like he's yeah no he's tr yeah exactly so it was great like you know what i mean his reactions i was watching his reactions a lot throughout the match and things like that um hold on sorry 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 about that. javi was getting a call from his wife um so yeah oh, it happens. get in line she said no no um, but, but, um, um, so okay now 
The match was okay. Um, that was like, worse than an awkward silence. <laughs> the this ma- the the match the match the six man tag match it was just like very underwhelming. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, like I am not mad about it in terms. It's just like the ending. They just I feel like they pooped the bed a little bit on that. Whenever um, one thing that bothered me the most it was Jay Uso acting like he didn't need roman because that's what he was doing essentially he was like he was he didn't wanted to tag him in and all that stuff because he's trying to show like that he doesn't need him yeah he's a guy that's what he's doing you know what i mean so then you're you're you haven't but you're having that that uh chemistry issue and that's why they're not in 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 sync that's why they lost you know it's part of the story but i i I, kind of disagree with that i kind of like that a little bit because then it's like, it's almost like the little brother finally being able to match up with the big brother, or at least he thinks he can match up with the big brother. So it's kind of telling that story in the background, because realistically, Jimmy is his big, bigger brother, quote unquote, because he was born like a few minutes before, whatever it is. But realistically, even in real life, their big brother is Roman. Not like what you were telling me the other day that, you know, Roman used to bully them when they were kids or whatever, right? Because he was like the bigger you know he's always been kind of that the, the leader of them three so you know it's kind of one of those things like look look what i can do look see this look i can i can beat you so you know mm-hmm. I, I kind of understand that and, and it's you know my biggest issue with the match was it was completely unnecessary i don't think we should have ever had this match my like i hate it kind of awesome. it kind of took away from the whole survivor series thing like that should have been the first time all these guys saw each other in the ring at the same time that's my biggest issue with it. It's like, okay, now, maybe, now you kind of took away half the fun. Like, there's no surprise. Maybe, it's like, okay. Maybe they know. did it just mainly to show that because they reunited that that they're not that 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 they're not broken. That's, okay, yeah. I mean, Sorry. but they still have chemistry Sorry. issues, like you were telling me. Like you were just yeah, like, yeah. So like. I mean, sorry. I meant like they are not. They are broken. That, mm. Did I say that or they're not broken? I said they're not. You broken, said they're man. not broken. <laughs> Bro, that that yawn just threw me off. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I lost my whole train of thought. What? <laughs> but uh, yeah. So like that that they are broken. Yeah. So like that they have they don't have the same chemistry as before. You know what I mean? And like I understand Jay's point. Like oh. We're not his lackeys anymore or something like that. I get that. Like, you know, it's totally understandable. Um, however, like, squash the beef, like like they were saying on Friday. And I was a little bit upset with uh, Friday Night Smackdown because I was hoping that Roman would say more. <laughs> and all he said was yeet. And it was cool and all because, like, we haven't heard him say yeet before. But realistically, like I would have liked him for, for him to say more, just anything else. Hey, but it's cool that that he got a reaction by just saying that one thing. That I think is good too. Realistically, that man got paid what probably three million just to be on the show, just to say (laughs) yeah. So can't blame him. Can't blame him. So Um, so I have a feeling that that he only had one word left on his uh, contract for that day because you know they double recorded. They recorded two episodes yeah. in the same day, so you know what I mean. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but I think that's also the reason why, and, and, and you know, forget about the storyline. It's kind of going to real life a little bit. That's probably why they didn't have him say much because they knew it was recorded, so they know there was going to be spoilers all around. So why save an amazing moment for that? You know, I get you. That, that that's yeah. what I think because it's bad enough that they have to yeah. spoil it. And do it on a show that everybody's, you know, spoiled it before the show actually happened. I think that sucked because we've been, bro. How long have we have been waiting for this thing? For what, like a year almost? For a while. Yeah. Like we've been waiting for them to go back because we, hey, we know that Jay had to do his thing, whatever. But we were always waiting for that moment that they all came back together stronger, right? Because Jay, mm-hmm. especially Jay, leveled up, and now they're like, oh shit, now how who's gonna deal with these guys now? So, but, but then again, they kind of messed it up by everybody last week, last Friday was like posting pictures of like, oh yeah, look, the bloodline. It's like, uh, like it kind of, it, it took away, it, honestly, it, it took away from the, from 
from the surprise and uh, it was very anticlimactic like honestly I, I didn't i didn't like that and i know they have the show in saudi arabia or whatever it is but just push it back one week like they could have done it this friday why did they have to do it this week in fact the bloodline didn't have to show up last friday or yesterday they didn't have to do that all they had to do was know. have have him next week and that's it i don't i don't get why they can't just record in saudi arabia friday night smackdown that would make sense that would make sense but i, I, I don't, don't know, know maybe i guess they probably already had cost... their money made and maybe they already have their money in saudi arabia so they were gonna yeah. make more money over here so it's like hey let's make this money and we'll make the money from saudi arabia too that is true <laughs> that is true so but, uh, yeah man like the, the one thing that threw me off about this match it was Sami Zayn coming out because you know technically he's never been out in crown jewel because of his religion or whatever so well this is like the second time whenever, he's been there already he's, he's a cool with them already apparently okay good for him I don't, whatever uh, my point is that like he came out and it just threw everything off and I'm just like what is this man doing out here and i get it like he's like and then solo is like telling him like no we're like it's me like you know what i mean like we're everything is happening because of roman and all that stuff and then all of a sudden sammy Zayn just turns on solo because of jay uso getting his ass whooped you know and i don't know whether i don't know if i agree with that too much just because like he no, didn't need it to be there no I, I i i disagree i i agree with you disagree with what they were doing um honestly you're right i don't think sammy should have been there and if sammy was going to be there he should have come in like maybe after the match or whatever it is to check on the guys or whatever cool but, exactly but not <laughs> right there because it was kind of like out of place that's what it seemed like it was like Okay, why I mean, is he like showing he, up right now? What like is he, he gonna do? He looks so awkward walking down the ramp. Why is he walking that hard down the ramp, bro? Just bro, jog. Hey, and I know, and I know, I'm not the person to say, but he looks super out of shape. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> that awful, awful, like straight up. I'm like, he has all this oh stuff, but he just looked weird. I was like, why does he have all this stuff on him? Like, what's going on? Were, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it looked almost unrecognizable. Sorry, when guys. He, just just he, see me yawn like four times already. It is 11 p.m. Eastern time over here, okay? So, like, I've been up since, like, 6.30 in the morning. Over here, Sam. So, not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but um, anyway, so then, yeah, so then they came out and all that stuff. And then you had that one moment of, like, all four of them surrounding Solo in the middle. And as soon as that happened, because Roman was across from Sami Zayn, you can see it a mile away. And I, and as soon as that happened, I knew I was like, "Well, I bet you Solo's gonna get out of the way, and these two idiots are gonna hit each other." <laughs> and essentially, that's what happened. They both, they like, uh, one was going for the Superman punch, and the other one was going for a boot or something. I think it was, and yeah, for the Hello Kid. They, yeah, and then he ended. They ended up hitting each other. I'm just like, bro, come on. See, I like that the, Jimmy backed up, backed up Roman though. Like the way that he got he got mad. You know what I mean? Yeah, he got in, in Sammy's face. But then Jay was going uh, was uh, um, trying to separate them. Was trying to separate them and everything, which I can understand why it happened and all that stuff. But I don't know. Like like I said, to me, honestly, and and it wouldn't shock me if Jimmy comes up and says, "Hey, that's why you're not family" or something like that on smackdown whatever it is just extend the story i guess but i don't know man I, I, I didn't like it to me it was dumb like they they both looked really stupid really yeah. stupid and then yeah, uh, oh yeah. that's another thing too if roman hit the, the superman punch why did sammy just get up like nothing happened why was it only roman on, why was it only roman taken out which if it would have been a regular match i can guarantee roman would have gotten up from that real fast because it would have oh, taken yeah. at least two or three of him, right? Based on wrestling logic, not in real life, wrestling logic. He would have gotten up real quick. No, but then Sammy from the Superman punch, she can't stand either, but he woke, he got up like nothing, like he, not. Roman sold that. I mean, like he's been selling great, but like he's. Uh, too much. The, he's giving him too much. The, the, he's, yeah, he's making bums look like they're freaking uh, all-stars and like, 
the problem is here it's like bro like you're making people look like they're on your level whenever they're not bro nobody right now but besides maybe jay uso is on the same level as roman reigns and i get it maybe that maybe part of the line part of the story is to make him look more vulnerable but it's getting to the point where you're making him look weak as shit like a bum like, like, a bum. like bro he got beat like i was mad that he lost to what 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 did he lose to he lost to uh a side body hit from my bad. who was it from from jacob and then a freaking backflip that landed on him and then so solo simone spiked him twice yeah well he got the ultimate like, finish like 14 was it and i'm just like, like bro i'm just like bro like i get it like you know what i mean like you're trying you, like he needs to make everybody else look like they're strong but realistically solo looks fat like the thing is the only one that looks strong in that faction is jacob that's it and they're still making him look ridiculous because he looks really strong and then he looks really weak it's it's kind of weird the, the, the way he says i love you solo hate that bro shut up shut hate up it. and then he's like this the whole time <laughs> This is worse than uh, the 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 praying pictures from back in 2006, where everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> or the straight straight out of jail post. They're just in their knees. And they're going, oh you know what I mean? Like, it's like, bro, stop, oh <laughs> stop, stop it. <laughs> But anyway, so then that happened. Uh, let's see what happens on Monday and Friday because on Monday, my guess will be is Jay is going to confront Sammy about this and Jimmy's probably going to be there to write out that Roman will come out. Roman is going to be out for Friday night SmackDown. No, he shouldn't. We, 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 we need Roman. Granted, I've always criticized him for not showing up that much, but come on, we're showing too much Roman. Take him out. <laughs> take him out. Yeah, take him out for a couple of weeks. Have it, you know, have it be like we're not sure if he's gonna show up for Survivor Series or something. I don't know. And because uh, you ha you eventually have to have Roman cut a promo. He's he's gonna have to cut a promo on Jay and Sammy. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's he gonna have to, and like he should. You know, he can't just be saying yeet and then just like bro, like no, like. He's like turning he into tribal Jay. chief, <laughs> little by little. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro, like we're not about to do this. We're we're not doing this. Like, we're not gonna turn this man down a couple levels. Whenever you brought him up to God mode, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, for no, no reason. Bro. For no reason. And, yeah. and and I understand, like you were saying, they have to make him more vulnerable and whatever. They may have to bring him down a couple of notches. He's not gonna be in God mode anymore. But at least. You know, he can't just get beat by anybody. He can't just look super weak. By bombs. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's like, it's like if Cody Rhodes fights him. Hornets. He just, no, but it's like if if he only fights if he fights Cody and with one crossroads he's gone. That shouldn't happen. So, I will be so mad. I can just imagine it too. I can. It could happen. See that That's happening. the thing. It could happen. I can see it's, that. Yeah, with Cody Rhodes, anything is possible. He can literally given the one finger death punch or whatever it's called and then the finger poke like, of doom yeah and then he <laughs> literally beats him it's just like bro what what are we doing here anything's possible Fox. Kevin Garnett. <laughs> jason no no that's jason tatum saying no jason no, tatum no. was we did it <laughs> oh okay yeah. he tried to do that but it was like he did bad. everything that he bad. did was so cringy but so anyways <laughs> Moving on to the next match that nobody probably cared about. It was Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair versus Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, Lash Legend, <laughs> Jokera Jackson, versus and EO Sky and Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane. <laughs> Honestly, Chelsea Green looked amazing in this match. She's great. She's great. We've said it before. She's great. She's funny. She looked uh, beautiful. Like she has uh, the whoever is making her outfits, like, like they like she they're they're doing awesome. So like because like they they keep implementing little things. 
Like, I don't know if you know, like, a couple of weeks ago, it was the trash bag. You know what I mean? This week, it was, um, it, it looked like it was the, uh, the train from, like, a wedding dress or something like that. I don't know if she recently got, no, she's no, no, been she, married uh, to Matt yeah, Cardona, right? Matt Cardona for a little bit, but she's used that before in TNA. She was like the hot, the hot mess where, where they talk about the song. Like she used to be the hot mess where she was all like a crazy bride. So she would used to come to the ring dressed up like a crazy bride, like you know, with the uh, with the lipstick all over the place and all crazy. It was actually a great gimmick. It was a great yeah, gimmick, yeah. and that's when she got hired by WWE, and then she got injured like four times in a row. <laughs> like I felt so bad for her. Wow. Remember that? <clears throat> But yeah, yeah. I mean, like she's she great. Started. Like I, I, re- I really like Chelsea Green. She's and, worked her ass off. She's worked her ass yeah. off. You got to give her credit. She's yeah. like I said, female Miz. Period. It's exactly the same Cops. thing, almost. Mm-hmm. And she can cut promos, surprisingly. She's great. She does. There's nothing that you could say she's bad at. Because even in the ring, she's really good. When you give her some time, she's really good. It's just that she does more entertaining stuff, right? But she's <laughs> really good at the ring. Give her if you if. You just took her serious. She will probably give you a four and a half star match with obviously a good dancer. It can't just be like all her against Jay Cargill. No, no, but like her against Eel Sky, mm, that would be that would good. Be great. Her yeah. against Bailey, Bailey, yeah, bro, but Bailey, I mean, she can. <laughs> anybody looks great. <laughs> I'm wrestling Bailey, so you know she can make but, anybody look great. So, so uh, talking about Jay Cargill once again. Uh, uh, Jade You need to They need to send her down to NXT Please Yo like <laughs> Look listen I'm not even gonna go into details about the match Cause like I, I could care less I And I had a feeling that That Bianca and Jade were gonna win I wish it would've been Chelsea and Piper Nivens Why? Because it would've been something different Matter of fact, even if Lash Legend and Kara Jackson, at least Eo, at least Eo and Eo and um, and Kyrie, Kyrie which Shane. are incredible, which are credible. Any anybody else, but Bianca and Jade. Realistically, Bianca and Jade have had this belt, this champion, for how long now? Like three months, four months. I don't know, but they had it, then they took it away, then they gave it right back to them. So they have the literally purpose? defended these titles maybe four times. I don't know. And I get that you may try to put the prestigious on the belt and things like that, but you can't do that from two people that are not in the prestigious level yet. Like you know what well, I mean, Bianca. You're, Belair you're giving was, you're giving uh, uh, what's her face, um, Jade Cargill, the Roman Reigns treatment when she's not there yet. At least Bianca would close. make more sense because at least even, Bianca, not she even is to great. The ankles. What? <laughs> What? I said not even to the ankles of Roman, like of the Roman Reigns treatment. Like no, you can't. Like Jay Cargill stinks. Like realistically, like and I'm trying to be nice, but like she stinks it up in the ring. Like yeah, she, and she, she looks, looks like a amazing. Bucks, I don't know. I, I, you know what? I don't think. What, the... what, wait, wait, wait. What's that saying in uh, in basketball? Million dollar move with a ten cent finish. That's Basically, this that's is, what it is that's what it reminds me. Like you know what I mean? She yeah. she looks like a million dollars, but then in the ring she's legit ten cents. Well, but I think another problem is, I think that they should split her from uh, from Bianca at, at the very least at WrestleMania. Like they should have a feud or something like that, and get it over with because I think she's almost holding Bianca back to a certain extent. If if that's even possible. Uh, because she's not good at all, and I think her the best way you can book her is gonna be like a Nia Jax or like a or like a Goldberg. But at this point, I don't even know if that's possible. Like, it just looks no, like she's awkward. Her timing's super off, and Crazy I feel bad for her. She's been, you could, she's been in wrestling for how long now? It hasn't been that long. That's the thing. Like they AEW threw her out to the wolves really fast, and then WWE, instead of learning the lesson and hiding her for like a good year, put her in, in NXT. Even or even if it's just on house shows, have her go to house shows and wrestle and get, you know, get, get a feel for for the crowd. Get a feel for doing different matches. Have it get a um, have an opportunity to have like a five, six, ten minute match, right? 
where it doesn't matter because it's in front of yeah it's just it's just in front of public it's not for the tv but no yeah you have to do it you have to put her out there you have to make the same exact mistake that aw made so for all the criticism yeah. from aw they did the same exact thing so yeah yeah i don't know and, yeah. and to me they're they're wasting who could be a potential superstar right but it's getting old right it's almost it's almost like she's almost turning into the patrick williams if you follow the bulls you'll know of wwe which there's a ton of potential right but then when you go into the ring it's like eh, eh. like bro do something <laughs> like i don't know i don't know Fox. And I feel bad Fox. for her. I feel bad for her because you can tell she works her her butt off. It's like a limp noodle. No matter what you do, <laughs> a limp noodle. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, moving on. Uh, by the way, Lash Legend looked great um, in the match. She did awesome. Um, She's a good example of NXT training someone. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So she she's gonna be. She's gonna be a, a a gal whenever she gets to the main roster. Even though she's technically quote unquote in the main roster, but you know she still shows up in NXT here and there. Um, excuse me. Uh, moving on to the next match: uh, Bronson Reed versus Seth Rollins in a unsanctioned match. What 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 does unsanctioned mean again? I forgot. That it's not like regulated. It's kind of like when when so no DQ Michaels. <clears throat> no, it's not necessarily doing the Q match. It's that it basically doesn't count. It's not official. It's like if the Bulls could say they're gonna play the Milwaukee Bucks on you know in a streak in a, in a, on a street court, but it doesn't count. No matter who wins, it doesn't matter. So then like nobody's what's regulating. The it. It's just this? what's the point of making this? Not not making anybody look that bad. I guess this is dumb. Okay, who? Won? That's stupid. I, Super dumb. I can't remember. I don't remember. Super dumb. Who won? No, it was a uh, uh, Seth Rollins, which I think that was a big mistake. You're building Bronson Reed to be this big monster, and all of a sudden, Seth Rollins just beats him. Why? Damn. Yeah. So we he, so we giving Seth Rollins the Cody treatment, <laughs> bro. I, and I and I can understand, but Seth Rollins at this stage of his career, as great as he is, because I, I, hey, you got to give him props. He took WWE through days that, through years, that they didn't have anything. And he kind of kept the boat afloat. I get it. And hey, more power to you. But at this time, he should be helping other people get over. I can understand if he would have beat Punk. I can understand if he beat Drew McIntyre. But Bronson Reed, you're trying to build the the the, the new heel uh, monster, right? So why the hell do you have, do you have uh, Seth Rollins just beat him like that clean? No man, come on man. Like no, not cool. Not cool at all. This is stupid. Really dumb. Really dumb. This I hated that. I, 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 I honestly hated that. To, to me it was terrible. There's no reason for that. Seth Ron if Seth Rollins would have taken L, this would not have hurt him at all. No, I mean like cause he got injured by the same guy, so like, you know what I mean? So but anyways, exactly. moving on to the next match. Uh, you have Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens on a match that actually never started. Which technically, it was finished. an unsanctioned match for all effective that purposes. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. So essentially, Randy Orton is the one behind, behind all this. Like in that promo backstage. Uh, Bro, I predicted nice this what? Like two months ago? Yeah, a year, about a year ago, to be honest with you. That's uh, true, too. <laughs> a year ago that you said that it was going to be Cody versus Randy probably at Mania also. Yeah. Um, so then you have Randy Orton, he says something to Cody Rose and Cody Rose turns and then he just looks at the belt. You know what I mean? So there's little hints here and there like Randy is the one behind all of this. Mm. In fact, do you really Sorry. think that do you really think that KO is together? With Randy, or do you think KO is just uh, the, the village idiot? Like he's just uh, <laughs> tonto I think Kevin Owens is just confused. He thinks that he knows, but he doesn't know. Like he's, he's gonna lose it. He's like, instinct. who's the good guy here? Who? Exactly. What's going on here? <laughs> exactly. Like, or Randy in the like, background. You he's guys, like, you guys didn't believe me. 
blah 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 and it's like mm. he's gonna go back with sammy or something <laughs> randomly oh for whatever nah, reason. he's just gonna go ahead and join the bloodline <laughs> he's gonna go to aw after this <laughs> he's, he's like wait a minute <laughs> Throw, like, whoa, cutting an angry show. promo. These, I work with a bunch of children. <laughs> He's gonna go p- cut the punk promo. <laughs> yeah, but he will say it on the mic. the time I work with children. I mean. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm working with children. These guys don't know anything. They're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Stupid idiots. I, but uh, I would love for I would love for him to just kind of like not like anybody not necessarily be a heel but just not like anybody just cut promos that he pissed off all the time not that not because he hates someone because he doesn't like someone it's because they're doing stupid things like he has to start doing that again uh, shout out oh, shout yes. out to my shout out to my son uh but he will probably be uh kevin owens will be uh the grumpy monkey if you read <laughs> a kid, that kid's book that's what exactly he, uh, grumpy monkey yeah shout out to uh my son because he uh he picked that book at the library but uh anyways um moving on to the next match you ended up having la knight versus carmelo hayes versus yeah. andrade in another unsanctioned match for the united states <laughs> champion <laughs> <sighs> who won this match and, honestly i didn't and, watch this match to be brutally honest with why? you i was why, i was at the why? day job you're, bro you're, you're, you're making right. you're making us look bad, bro. We're, we're you said the other match, match you didn't <laughs> watch, it. and I was at the day job today. What's up with that? <laughs> I was uh, I was being a dad, you know. Uh, You're a fun guy. <laughs> I was being a fun guy. Uh, LA Knight probably won. Why is uh, like you know what I mean? Like, oh, you didn't watch it either. So what the LA Knight <laughs> defeated Andrade and Hayes. No, I heck no, I ain't watched that shit. <laughs> no, that was that was that was terrible, useless. Like I don't even know why they're fighting LA Knight. It's not helping anybody. Like literally, that match helps no one. Doesn't oh, help like, Andrade. Thumbnail, doesn't help LA Knight. Doesn't thumbnail, help uh, WWE. Carmelo Hayes. Do something about this thumbnail. Like this thumbnail. Uh, this looks a little bit inappropriate guys come on man we gotta do uh something about that the otc whenever the otc came out it was crazy <laughs> he got a huge pop i got a huge remember pop. we can't even put any little clips because then we're going to Pause. get the uh, what no <laughs> don't, said, don't, 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 don't don't <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so then you ended up having LA Knight winning in a great match, apparently. It was good. Uh, yeah, so uh, moving on to the last match. Oh, wait, no, there's two more. Liv Morgan versus Nia Jax for the Women's Crown Jewel Championship, where some way, somehow, Liv Morgan ended up beating Nia Jax. But does WWE hate Nia Jax? I Korea. think they just love Liv Morgan. I'm pretty sure she is like, I I, I don't know, bro. Like this is. How do I? We're gonna get canceled. But... <laughs> bro. At this rate, with our 50 views, I don't give a shit right now. Like you know, it's like, it's like, bro. Like, how is it possible that Liv Morgan beat Nia Jax? Liv Morgan is like four foot seven. She is so close to being. Never mind. But like, how? Like, I don't like that. I honestly don't like that. And I understand uh, bringing Tiffany Stratton kind of distract everything, whatever it is. And they bring like whatever. But you cannot just always bring Tiffany Stratton to do everything. Like, no, no. I I could have understood maybe if you had. Tiffany Stratton kind of take the belt away from Nia, and then Nia won that Crown Jewel Championship. Uh, which, by the way, they gave them a ring. They didn't give them the championship; they gave them the ring. Which good thing, because at least they don't have to carry that ugly piece of crap around anywhere. Because it's an ugly ass title. Oh my god! I sent you a picture whenever uh, Cody won. Uh, sorry, spoiler alert. But Cody ended up winning. You know what I mean? And then the, he had the belt on. That thing was like uh, almost to his nipples. <laughs> Like that it's thing like looked almost. like he had a corset on. That's what it looked like. That's, thank you. Perfect. <laughs> like a Perfect. legit corset. Um, it's like mm, that's kind of suspect. 
but um pause. <laughs> yeah yeah you know, all of a sudden so, can you imagine uh, cody they're putting it on and he's like pause tighten it more tighter yeah. and then triple h is like we got paid a lot of money for this okay <laughs> i guess i'll do that, it that, <laughs> that belt is hideous like i'm not gonna lie that's horrible that's worse than the yeah. than the AEW shitty championships seriously that, that's those worse are than the sports champions than the than the team champions or whatever like some of the team some champions, of them are nice like, some of them are nice honestly but, yeah but mm. some of them are like they look like they got ripped off freaking uh what was it wish what was that thing called before yeah, that was like demo before timo <laughs> yeah yeah so uh so i mean Damn. whatever but uh Liv morgan Damn. ended up winning and she ended up getting this big ass belt so then moving on to gunther versus cody rhodes cody rhodes won with a cheesy finish um gunther was about to put him in the sleeper hold and then uh cody ended up doing a backflip and he was because uh gunther still had the hold on the sleeper hold uh he ended up getting pinned one two three and then cody won this i know make, they were trying to, honestly, they were trying to make gunther not look bad but come on man it made him look but this makes worse. this makes cody even look weaker than what he already is and then gunther is just like out it pissed me off even more that at the end of the match they ended up shaking hands i'm like gunther what the heck are you doing bro bro at this point gunther send him away seriously just put him on put him on ice for a little bit put him on ice at least till after the rumble right because at this point you are doing absolutely nothing with gunther he looked like the guy that i should that i thought should have fought cody rose for the championship in wrestlemania not roman because i don't think roman should have had anything to do with cody should have been rocking roman but whatever um why are you making this guy look so weak after being the best most credible heel that you've had in years right in ring you know not counting roman reigns whatever character blah 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 but gunther just looks so dominant he looks so great and all of a sudden everybody beats him like now it's like nothing with the pedestrian simple moves how is gunther he's supposed to be this extremely smart guy what pedestrian moves yeah hey true that's like saying like hey gunther i challenge you to that to the world heavyweight champion and i beat him with a basic suplex or with an arm drag think I could, and you beat him i don't like i was about to why? say i don't think i can pick that that dude up bro like for real like, that neighbor can. has to be heavy as fuck no he's not that heavy anymore bro if it would have been bro, walter yes there is walter, yes. no way gunther, probably <laughs> Yeah, Walter. <laughs> Walter <tan gordito. laughs> Walter, that man was thick. He reminded Walter reminded me of uh dang bro, I can't remember. I think it was Caprison. Caprison that made a that made a commercial back in our days that it was like in the pool. Your days maybe. In my days. And then it was in the pool and all you see is like the stomach of the of a person. And then you see the belly, just uh, the belly button, just singing, or whatever. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. But Gunther, honestly, like they've taken away any credibility he had. I think it's gone. Like he's a joke now. Like realistically, just take the championship away from as, him. And... Might as well, might as well call him Otis. At this point, at this rate. I mean, he's supposed to be and a Cody. badass, and no, and Cody's gonna beat him with something so stupid. And then he's Cody's known to be win. smarter. Oh my gosh! No, like that—that that pisses me oh. off. Pisses me you off. Know, so this damn match card was so up and down; like it's making me yawn even more. Yeah. So then, uh, no, no, no. It was bad. It was so bad. now, it was bad. now, what's next for Cody? Cody is gonna feud with Randy or Kevin Owens. He's gonna feud for Kevin Owens for example for a little bit, and then man, he's gonna be like, "It was me, Cody, all along." You know, that's what it's gonna be. That's what's gonna happen because it was my idea, right? Uh, but the good thing is, at least, like we said in the last episode, they're keeping Cody away from the bloodline, which is about time <laughs> after what, three years of telling his stupid that story. 
<laughs> so at least there's now, a you know positive. what's gonna happen is while the Timu bloodline and the Ro- and Roman Reigns and Jimmy and Jay is in the ring and all that stuff and then Roman cut a promo like yeah like I run this and all that stuff and then Cody's gonna come out and then he's just gonna be like no you don't because of Wrestlemania how I beat you and it's like bro because my father inviting my father Dusty Rhodes who invited you out here why are you here exactly <laughs> but don't uh you but feed Cody your dog go and feed your dog but Cody, anyways, like 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 I was saying earlier about Jay, the beginning of the show. Jay is what Cody Rhodes wants to be. Cody will never be as over as Jay. He will never be that guy. They're trying to push him to be John Cena, to be that guy, to be the Roman Reigns or whatever it is. He's not. I'm sorry to say, but he's not. He doesn't sell the most merch. He doesn't have the best matches. He doesn't have the most charisma. And people, honestly, a lot of people don't even care about him. Yeah, you go you go to another country. Whoa, whatever, cool. Right, because it's Cody. That's cool. It. That's what you get. But that's, that's it. The song. After that, it's yeah. done. It's almost like Seth Rollins. After the song, it's over. I mean, I was gonna say, like, uh, realistically, like, like he's not getting any pop. Mm mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he's not. He's not. He's not. I mean, the, he's not. He's not the real money maker there. He's, in fact, right now, if I was gonna rank guys, he would be like number six. At the highest, honestly. I mean, I'd put Roman obviously over him. I put Jay over him. I put Punk over him. I put Drew McIntyre over him. Jay, like Punk hmm? three. Yeah. Punk is a bum. He's not a bum, bro. He's making he's making a lot of money, and he's making them a lot of money. He's a bum. No, shut up, bro. Shut up. But uh, anyways, all right. So that was our review of crown jewel by the way thumbs down to the show <laughs> that was my final review <laughs> thumbs yeah. down wasn't very good but I mean, anyway like, bro i was like you know usually whenever the pay-per-views are good you got me all hype i get like i i'm normally very hype on the microphone and things like that but i'm legit falling asleep here and it's not it has nothing to do with the time because watch whenever i get in bed it's probably gonna take me another 45 minutes to fall asleep you're sorry text died. me Bro, yo, <laughs> my bet didn't hit, bro. Where's your? That, that's a whole other story. That's a whole other story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> last week was good. This week, eh, buns. <laughs> but anyways, all right, guys. All right, so just remember to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for the comments. Peace.